Welcome to the Asian American Spotlight. This week I'm in Sundance. Currently, currently in Sundance. I've watched more movies this week or films. They're all called films here. They're all called films. Are they all shot on film? No. But they're still called films. But they're still called. Films. Actually, is there a difference between film and movie? No. Pretentiousness is. is, is... At Sundance, they're called films. <laughs> this is Drea, by the way. Hi. This is my my future roommate. Um. And actually met her on the uh, on the set of the Hollywood show. Yes, on the Walking Dead. On the Walking Dead uh, Hollywood show parody. Four years ago now. Four years. Four years ago. In Georgia. In Georgia. Um, from Vegas. Then moved to LA, and now we're we're gonna get a place together and make movies because that's what we do. And she invited me to Sundance with her. Crew and I've yeah I've watched more movies this week than I have in any week of my life. Um, I don't know if that's saying a lot because I'm I actually haven't seen that many movies. But regardless, it's been really inspiring and it's just really made me want to make my own movies. And so this week's Asian American Spotlight is on the first movie I ever saw at Sundance, and that movie is Search, and it. Blew me away. It, it it still remains my favorite that I've seen so far. And I've seen five or six movies. I've lost count. Um, yeah. yeah, and and uh, and a VR experience, which is also pretty cool. Um, but Search is a what what is it? It's a thriller. Um, so it's starring John Cho and Deborah Messing, and it follows this Asian American family. Actually, I don't want to say. Uh, you know what? I don't want to say too much about it because I'm just going to give you spoilers. But it's shot in a way that it's done all through monitors and screens and like FaceTime, um, your computer monitors, CCTV cameras, the news, TV, like anything that's screen related, it, this entire film is shown through that medium. And at first it, I know, I, I hearing that I thought it was going to be a little bit hokey, but they do it in such a, such a good way that I, know, I kind of almost forgot about the fact that they were doing it. I mean, when I was thinking about it, it was like, oh, how are they going to do this next? And they just found a way to do it really nicely. Um, so kudos to them for that techno technical challenge. Uh, the director is Anish Chiganti, um, co-writers with Sev Ohanian, and they 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 did a bang up job. Um, Actually, I, I, I saw them in line this morning. <laughs> Actually, I, <laughs> and I, every time I think of this, it's so funny. But I saw them in line. I was standing there with Drea. And Drea's like, yo, there's this Seb. He's the producer slash co-writer of, uh, of Search. And I'm like, oh my god, it's him. I saw him at the Q&A after the movie. And, um, and it took like forever to like work up the courage to go and talk to him. And I didn't end up talking to him because the line started moving and I took too long. Uh, but then the director started coming by and like, as we were walking by, I was just like, hey man, great movie. It's like totally my favorite movie of, of uh, Sundance so far. It was the first one I saw. He's like, oh yeah, you woke up like super early for it. I'm like, yep, yeah, totally worth it. Um, and I was super cool about it. <laughs> and then we went back around and I, I got to introduce myself and yeah, it, it's still, it's so I, know. I know it's so awkward. <laughs> it, was, it was like now you know how other people feel. I know, I know. Now I and now I know how other people feel. But it it was it was you know it was uh it was fun. It was, it was, it was so awkward. It was okay. Well, when I was doing it, didn't feel as awkward. But I guess in retrospect, from other people's perspective, it might have been a little awkward. I liked it though. So Anish, if I see you again, I'm gonna try it. Maybe I'll buy you a drink or something in a not creepy way. I shouldn't say that. Please don't watch this video. <laughs> uh, but the right the the Asian American Spotlight this week is on Search, and they got bought by I don't know who, but they sold the movie for five million dollars, which means that this movie will be released theatrically, prob pictures. probably a lot of places. Um, please go watch this movie. It is it is a really good movie, and. A testament, I, like, I, I, John Cho, Deborah Messing, like, fans of both of them, um, but they're not, from a distributor's point of view, they wouldn't call them, like, box office draws, so the fact that they bought this movie for $5 million says a lot to how good they think it is. 
Um, please check it out. I think you're going to love it. I don't know when it's going to come out, but if you're in Utah, close to Park City, you should go check a screening if, if they're still screening it. Um, and yeah, just keep your eyes out. I'm going to post the uh, Twitter handles for the director and and the writer, uh, Anish and Sev, as well as, as John Cho, the lead, um, in the description below. Um, so follow them for more news on this wonderful movie called Search. It is a thriller starring an Asian-American family, really. It revolves around the family, um, and that's just a really nice thing to see once. And I, and it wasn't even a thought that I'm like, oh, this is an Asian-American family. No, it was just, it was just a family who had gone through some hardships and, you know, we're just following that story. Um, yeah, absolutely wonderful film. Highly recommended. Hope you guys get a chance to check it out. And if you do, or if you've already seen it, please let me know what you think. Um, that's it. I'm going to get some work because I want to make my own movie to, to come back to Sundance with. So I'll see you guys next week.